Trayam Ekatra Sanyamaha. Samyama is defined as a very subtle tool which combines all the three Antaranga Yoga, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. All put together is called Sanyama. How to put them together? Normally it is done sequentially. First you do the Dharana, then jump into dhyana and expand it to samadhi dharana dhyana samadhi so in the whole process you fix the mind focus the mind then defocus the mind and expand the mind to the higher levels of consciousness and samadhi is a higher level of consciousness and it is like the quantum jump Normally people think that Samadhi is the end of the game. No doubt, it is the end of Ashtanga Yoga. But it is the real beginning of our entry into the higher levels of consciousness. The real Yoga begins only after the Samadhi. In Samadhi you have immense happiness. And you have such knowledge, such creativity, such innovations that start coming up. And therefore, Samadhi is the most coveted dimension of the mental achievement. Then Patanali talks about the dimension to go to the higher and higher levels of consciousness. Higher and higher levels of Samadhi. So, eight types of Samadhi have been identified by Patanjali. Vitarka, Vichara, Ananda, Asmita, Anugamat, Sampragnataha, Tadanyaha, Asampragnataha. Vitarka Anugata, Sampragnat Samadhi. Vitarka Anugata, Asampragnat Samadhi. Vichara Anugata, Sampragnat Samadhi. Vichara Anugata, Asampragnat Samadhi. Asmita Anugata, Sampragnat Samadhi. Asmita Anugata, Asampragnat Samadhi. Finally, Ananda Anugata Sampragnat Samadhi, Ananda Anugata Asampragnat Samadhi. So, these are the various dimensions that are talked about. And as you go to the higher and higher Samadhis, what is going to happen? It has more and more powers and higher and higher bliss, higher and higher knowledge and more and more freedom and more and more purification and more and more equanimity starts coming up. So this is how you start go to the higher and higher levels of dimensions. So compared to the Sayama, the Antaranga Yoga becomes a Bahiranga Yoga. Compared to Antaranga Yoga, we have the Bahiranga Yoga, Yama Nema Asana Pranayama Pratyahara. Then we have the Harana Dhyana Samadhi, the higher. And this is the Antaranga compared to this. But compared to Sayama, the Antaranga, the Haranadhyan Samadhi becomes Bahiranga. So that's how it goes in graded way. Higher and higher levels of Samadhis. And in all these Samadhis, there is still the Bija, still the seed form of the Samskaras. Therefore they are called Sabid Samadhis. And when the entire thing gets purified, then you have the Nirbija Samadhi, the highest. That's called the Kaivalya, that's the ultimate goal. Therefore, this is the dimension that starts coming up. So, by continuously practicing equanimity in states of misery and happiness, you know, and in the face of challenges, you have to maintain that equanimity, then slowly you start gaining mastery over all the senses and the emotions about the fear, about the greed, the anger, the jealousy, the miserliness, everything you start getting purified. And the deep-rooted samskaras will all start getting purified in the whole encounter. You know? So, as you go to the higher and higher levels of samadhi, there is going to be a transformation of the mind and the transformation of the body. 
and therefore the higher samadhis call for deeper purification more and more purification less and less imbalance purification in the form of these things so what is the relation that happens as you go to the higher level you have got the eight different types of siddhis which is well known as ashta siddhis at the mind level what happens is the prapti and the prakamya so you can get anything that you want prapti whatever you desire it is going to happen in the things so you have got the dimension of seeing the past present and the future all that they are called the trikara gnanis but the great personalities in our country krishna bhagwan was able to scan through the time he says to arjuna why you are in such great grief because you don't know what is going to happen in future whereas i can see what is happening you know that is the dimension that occurs at the mind level you start sweeping through the time dimension the mind can spread everywhere you know that is the dimension that occurs then at the intellectual level you get the capacity of the vishitva that the third siddhi as it's called you will be able to hypnotize others you have to you'll be able to mesmerize others you'll be able to get control over the mind and intellect of the other people and that is the dimension that comes at the next level of the intellect then the higher transformation starts that is the physical level at the physical level the body gets into a phase of extreme lightness laghima you know and you can make this body very 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 heavy you know, like a mountain you can make it very heavy or you can make the body huge like a big big mountain or you can make the body very 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 small like a small atom these are the four siddhis that have been talked about in ashta siddhis laghima garima mahima anima and this all the occurs at the body level by the transformation that occurs so then we have the highest that is gnana level that the ishitva then in the ishitva i have the complete conquest of the whole universe you can do and undo things you can create and you can destroy brahma vishnu maheshwara they had all the powers the brahma had the capacity to create the whole universe and vishnu had the capacity to maintain whenever there is a degradation of the dharma he is able to bring it back and shiva he is able to completely destroy at the end of the cycle then he has to destroy the whole world and it will be in the stage of pralaya and then again a new srishti starts so all those powers are got by a person who is at the highest level at the gnana level these are the eight siddhis that have been enumerated in our ancient yoga and spiritual lore and all these things in various forms can be obtained by doing the sayama patanjali says you know he elaborates each one of them to various various forms and the number of sat siddhis have been talked about in the vibhuti yoga that the dimension that he talks about the ashta siddhis you know and then what is going to happen in the process is transformation that's called parinamas as you are journeying through this towards the perfection there is the purification that takes place there is the transformation that takes place transformation from the physical body to the pranamaya manomaya vignana anandamaya kosha start taking place that's called the parinamas and three types of parinamas have been talked about and these are the subtle techniques even beyond the sayama that is the nirodha parinama ekagrata parinama and the samadhi parinama and by using these techniques of transformation you will be able to go to the higher and higher levels of samadhi higher and higher siddhis so in the last chapter patanjali in the kaivalya pada describes about the mechanisms by which this happens you know, how can i transcend the physical loss is the normal question that comes to any scientist if you say a person can fly up he said it's impossible it goes against the law of gravitation naturally so therefore patanjali 
gives us the mechanisms as to how this occurs at a higher level. When, for example, you have an electron filling around the nucleus, you know, then you put the energy. And when you go on putting the energy, when this gets filled up with that particular amount of energy, then the electron jumps into the next orbit. Same thing happens here also. In the subtle world of the mind, in the subtle world of our consciousness, when there is going to be the purification that takes place, when there is going to be the equanimity that starts coming up, when there is going to be more and more energy that starts coming up, then it gets transformed and transmuted to the higher levels of the consciousness. And that is what has been described. You know. And that is the mechanism by which there is going to be the higher dimension of consciousness that starts coming up. When this comes to the next level, what is going to happen? There is going to be the subtle samskaras that start coming up. You know, Lord of our samskaras are accumulated within us. And this in the form of obsessions, phobias, blocks, objects, and obsessions. And they are called as the granthis. So in the Upanishad it says, Vidyate hrudeya granthi, chidyante sarva samshayaha, kshiyante chasya karmani, as it is said. So here, the blocks which will be opened up. And these can be called in a sense subtle stresses which are hidden in our unmanifest, in our subconscious and in the superconscious. And they all start coming up. And they show up as imbalances in various forms of obstacles that have been enumerated by Patanjali. When these things come up, invariably a person may come back and go down. So one has to use that willpower and the discrimination to purify that to go to the higher level of the dimension. So purification should take place. If the anger is coming up, then he must say that he overcomes that anger. I will say, no, I am not going to become angry. I am going to thin out this klesha. I am going to thin out the power involved in the anger. And I am going to see that I am get free from the anger. Such are the dimensions that we have to do. When the stresses get released, you start working on them to remove the stresses at the deeper levels and remove the dimension to purify ourselves more and more, more and more, more and more. So each time you jump, you have a higher level of purification featured by higher equanimity. The greater the equanimity, greater the purification. Until any circumstance, you will be like a solid rock. You will not get lost either in anger, greed, jealousy, hatred, infatuation, nothing whatsoever. And you are not becoming the slaves to the emotions. So you start growing higher and higher. And that is the process of purification that takes place. So all the karma sheshas which are there will slowly start coming up. They start manifesting and they have to be purified. Only when all our samskaras which you have accumulated over lives and lives and lives get purified, then you become the purest. Then the manifestation of the divinity comes up. All the power will start coming up and you go into the Sarva Shakti Sthana and complete Ashtasiddhi start coming up and then you have the choice. Either you want to completely merge with the totality or you want to stay in the society, work for the transformation of the society to build ideal social orders. Choice is yours and there are some people who take to this dimension of staying in the society, helping the society, transforming the society, divinizing the society, building ideal social orders and establishing the dharma. But there are many others who say that my work is over and I am going to merge with the totality. So such people completely merge themselves with the totality as mentioned by Ramakrishna Paramahamsa in a very dramatic way. A sword doll trying to go to measure the depth of the ocean and it starts losing itself completely, becomes one with the ocean. Similarly, as individuals, we start going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper with the purification. Our individuality will vanish slowly. All the jivatma, the individual manifestation, are going to go down and they become one with the paramatma. The individual self merges with the 
ultimate self that is the process of yujyate anena the purusha completely comes out of the prakriti and he becomes one with the purusha so that is the end of the journey that is talked about until that we have got the sabija which makes you go round the cycle of birth and death birth and death birth and death and that you may have a freedom but yet you are in the cycle of birth and death so both these dimensions are talked about and that gives you the whole spectrum of the patanjali yoga sutras starting with samadhi pada sadhana pada vibhuti pada and the kaivalya pada you know so what is the definition of patanjali about yoga yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha yoga is to gain mastery over the mind what is that mastery one side you should be able to think very fast sharper mind brilliant mind dynamic mind faster 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 another side you should be able to bring down the speed of the mind calmer mind silent mind tranquil mind stay that in that silence completely and fully for any length of time that you want this is the mastery and when you get the mastery what is going to happen tada drashtu ho swarupa yavasthanam you have the opportunity to completely merge with your swarupa with your original state of consciousness from the kaivalya from where all of us have emerged from where the whole universe has come that dimension having said that patanjali you know, talks about the modifications of the mind you know and in the five modifications of mind how the mind can give lot of trouble to you or non trouble to you pramana viparya vikalpa nidra smrtaiha the manifest and the unmanifest form we saw and these are the ones that we have to gain mastery over how to gain the mastery abhyasa vairagya abhyam tannirodha by the abhyasa one side and the vairagya on the other side abhyasa is practice 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 another side understand understand and get rid of the slavery of the senses to the sense object by so doing you start growing and growing to the higher and higher levels and you get into the samadhi and the higher levels of samadhi he talks about but to give the specific techniques in the second chapter sadhana pada he starts with the kriya yoga tapas swadhyay ishwara pranidhana will power analysis power and the emotional power to be harnessed to develop this technique of kriya yoga and this kriya yoga helps us to thin out all the kleshas we have avidya asmita raga dvesha abhinivesha ha kleshaha all these five kleshas had to be cleansed and develop the samadhi bhavana arthascha to expand and go to the higher and higher levels of samadhi that's the objective of the kriya yoga that he talks about and when you start doing the kriya yoga then many many obstacles come they are called the vikshepas the obstacles nine types of vikshepa he talks about and the sahabhava along with that the four sahabhavas all these obstacles can be developed and purified by the behavioral transformation therapy maitra karuna mudita upekshanam sukha dukha punya apunya vishayanam bhavanata chitta prasadadam he said by so doing you will be able to completely transform yourself and then you get into the seven levels of the chitta bhumis and overcoming the chitta vikshepa helps us to go through the chitta bhumis and then to get into the these realms of sapta bhumi then you have got the ashtanga yoga the bahiranga yoga and the antaranga yoga yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara bahiranga yoga dharana dhyana samadhi the antaranga yoga and then we have in the third chapter talks about the advanced yoga in which trayam ekatra sayamaha dharana dhyana samadhi reaching to sayama and the from samayama you have the transformation three types of parinamas nirodha parinama samadhi parinama and the ekagrata parinama that takes you to the higher and higher levels of samadhi and each samadhi helps us to purify more and more make unanimity and all the karma sheshas which are there samskaras will be getting purified and go to the higher and higher heights and as you go through this eight different levels of samadhi which are all called the samadhi sabija samadhi you go into the nirguna samadhi or that is the kaivalya that's the ultimate goal so this entire dimension has been brought with such fantastic precision mathematical accuracy by patanjali it is unparalleled in the entire history 
to give the entire dimension of yoga and it is this knowledge base that we all possess from 3000 years in our country and it shall be brought forth to the fore to have total emancipation of the human beings to not only prevent diseases promote positive health to go to the higher and higher levels of happiness and to higher and higher dimensions of siddhis and reach the highest that the kaivalya so let us start our journey effectively by using our ashtanga yoga to get into the glimpses of samadhi and stabilize the samadhi go to the higher levels of samadhi that should be our goal which patanjali has given us so we offer our prayers to patanjali who has done such fantastic contribution to the world at large to the field of yoga yogena chittasya padena vacham malam sharirasya cha vaidyakena योपाकरोत्तम प्रवरम मुनीना पतंजलि प्राजलिरानस्मी ओ शाति शाति शाति